Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Comic Fun Time, Something's in the Box. Whoops, I'm having things just kind of uh, fall around right now. Um, today, we bring you a package I ordered from Antarctic, Ar Antarctic uh, Comics, which um, is a small publishing firm in Austin, Texas, I guess. There's been a little bit of drama around them lately, and I felt like supporting them. Plus, um, there's a guy named Tim Lin who publishes uh, or has created a character called President Thump. And that's a book I've been meaning to get for a while. I, I didn't get it here. I got a different book of his. But let's go ahead and open up to see what we did get. So, um, so yeah, like I say, a small publishing press. They... Uh, uh, you know, I was looking through their site. I knew I was going to get uh, Tim's book, and he had mentioned they had some uh, kind of anti-Trump books, but he said that they were, uh, well, he, he talked about one, and he said it was funny, but I just decided to um, get the omnibus, but I'm telling you, and I'm not showing, so let's finish opening this up. Okay, almost got it. So, um, here we go. What have we got here? We've got bubble wrap. And then we've got the books upside down. So there we go. Um, My Hero, uh, uh, is it, oh, let me get rid of the box. So there we go. My Hero, uh, Magademia. And you know, the interesting thing is I got that book. My I think this is a riff off of My Hero Academia, which is, uh, uh, um, manga and I got the free comic book day one but it, it wasn't for me <laughs> I could you know I try I paged through it all but I couldn't read it I had no idea what was going on but I figured this would be different this would be better so let's open up this uh, the package within the package and then so I ordered three books um, yeah this one is like a a collection of kind of, um, you know, I, I guess I shouldn't say anti-Trump until I read it, but that's what I've heard. But I heard, uh, at least in the first book, because, um, yeah, this whole thing is called Putin on the Hits. So I heard that there was like, oh, so like there's one where he fights Abe Lincoln, which, you know, uh, I guess like there's no table of contents at the beginning, which is... Um, I was kind of expecting it, but it just makes it uh, a little harder to try to know. I forget, because I, there's, is this the Incredible Trump? I don't know. But it, it kind of like riffs on comic books and uh, President Trump, and I'm hoping that it'll, it'll be funny, even if I don't disagree with the, I mean, even if I disagree with the politics, I'm hoping that it'll be funny. This one, I expect to like. And then this one is a horror comic. Which, um, you know, like looking at that, it's kind of gross. <laughs> but I wanted to get one more. I kind of wanted to round the order out. Uh, and I didn't know what else to get. Now, there's like some other very nice people on Twitter, like, uh, goes by the name of Rags. And apparently, uh, there's a comic book that they put out through Antarctic, and it's supposed to be very good. So I'm kind of spoiling it for myself, but it looks kind of creepy. So. Um, so yeah, it's like, I'm not necessarily, like, I was iffy on this because, you know, it's kind of gross, and I'm not all that much into kind of gore. Uh, I like gore if it's over the top and stupid, like, um, those, uh, Herschel, was it Herschel Gordon movies? I can't remember, the guy who did movies like Blood Feast and, uh, and those sort of things where they were like so over the top and the you know there's like one of his movies where it's like an artist who is you know he loses inspiration and he starts killing people and he gets inspiration and he runs people over on these bikes I think or something and like for body parts they use like blow-up dolls as the skin of the people on the water it's so bad it's so funny so this one the story sounded like it was like hard to tell like if it was going to be lighthearted or not but um it looks pretty intense so we will see with that one and so yeah that uh 
uh, that I will get to round to reading these when I have the chance. And um, right now I am reading the Mutants series. I finished the uh, the graphic nar novel, the, Mar the Marvel graphic novel. Was it number nine? The one, what was it called? The Futurians. And so I, I was planning on doing a video on that one tonight, but then I came and this was in the mailbox. So I'm doing a video on this instead. So um, I don't have that much more to say since I don't want to get into the drama and I don't know anything about these books really. This one I know is a, a hugely popular. I think the third, I think when I ordered it, it said it was like a, a pre-sale for the third edition. Uh, so it's already gone through three printings, and I think they're heading into their fourth printing. So very popular book, and I, I hear it's really good. I've seen, like, I haven't watched the reviews because I didn't want spoilers, but I've seen reviews of other people talking about how good it is, you know, uh, you know, like in the title of their YouTube video. So I'm glad I got this. Um, I'm going to go ahead, remember to hit the like button, um, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I will be back. Uh, with you real soon. Uh, Super Comic Fun Time out.